Ako ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa inyong walang patid na suporta sa opisina ng Bisi Presidente at sa gagawaran ng edukasyon. Pero pagdating naman sa eskulahan, kukolektahan mo! Lalong umiinit ngayon sa Pilipinas dahil sa away politika. Rapi Tulfo vs. Sara Duterte, yan ang ating pag-uusapan. Si Senador Rapi Tulfo ay nakilala sa programang Rapi Tulfo in Action at dito siya sumikat. Nagkaroon ng maraming supporters kaya naging daan ito para manalo siya bilang senador. Habang si Sara Duterte naman ay matagal nang naglilingkod bilang tapat na politiko sa ating mga kababayan sa Dabao. Ngayon naging Vice President na siya at Sekretary ng DEP. Ed, dito na pumasok ang problema dahil tila maraming humahadlang sa kanyang magagandang plano. Kung natatandaan po natin noong nakaraang linggo sa primary sa Senado, kinwestyon ni Sen. Rapi Tulfo ang Department of Education patungkol sa PTA kung saan maraming magulang ang nagre-reklamo sa kanyang programa na Rapi Tulfo in Action kung saan ang mga teachers ay humingi sa mga magulang ng mga bata na pambili ng electric fan at iba pa. Ngunit sinagot ito ni Sen. Pia Cayetano. Ayon kay Sen. Pia Cayetano, ang PTA ay matagal na itong binuo ng mga magulang at teachers, ang Parents Teachers Association. Binuo ito para makatulong sa eskwelahan at hindi sa pilitan. Ang paghingi ng tulong kundi voluntaryo. Ang tanong ngayon, bakit hindi nalutas o nasolusyonan ni Sen. Rapi Tulfo ang mga nagre-reklamo sa kanya sa PTA. Dito daw makikita ang kahinaan ni Sen. Rapi Tulfo. Sikat na sikat si Tulfo, di ba? Lilipas din yan. Lilipas din yan kasikatan na yan. Kasi pag wala ka talagang kakayahan na maging mamuno, tapos wala kang maipakikitang uh, ebidensya ng ka- ka- kahusayan mo, eh si Inday Sara, may ebidensya eh. Yung Davao City. Sa panahon niya, nawala ng insurgency problem yun. Kaya merong track record. Eh si Tulpo, ang track record niya eh, Rafi Tulpo in action. Eh, pwede yun kung gagawin niyang Rafi Tulpo in action yung pagiging presidente niya. Eh nakita na natin yan eh, sa PTA. Palpak siya eh. <laughs> Hindi niya nga nalutas yung PTA. Yung mga problema na nagreklamo sa kanya, ay eh, yun, yung, yung ganun problema. Kahinaan po ni Tulpo yun. Di ba? Nakita natin kung gano'n siya kahina. Pero mo, ang dami. Pinakita niya, ang dami po nagreklamo sa akin. O bakit hindi mo nalutas? <laughs> bakit hindi mo nalutas kung marami? Kung kayo ang papipiliin, mga kababayan, sino ang kakampihan ninyo? Si Sen. Rapi Tulfo o si Vice President Sara Duterte? Isulat ang inyong reaksyon at komento. Samantala, tila umiba ata ang ihip ng hangin dahil itong si Congressman Martin Romualdez ay pinuri itong si Vice President Sara Duterte sa pag-withdraw ng 500 million confidential funds. Tila hindi naman nagtagumpay ang kanilang plano na pabagsakin si Inday Sara bagkos tumaas pa ang trust rate ng bisi presidente at ito naman ang patunay o ebidensya na hindi kurap at ibinulsa ni BP Sara ang confidential funds ng DepEd. We have extended learning resources such as tablets, storage devices, self-learning modules, and learning activity sheets to a total of 18.5 million learners. We are already done with the procurement of 2.3 million pieces of learning tools and equipment or LTE. This year, we are continuing to develop and produce additional learning resources targeting to provide 9.5 million pieces of LTE to our learners. Specifically, we aim to deliver 2,439,996 kindergarten activity sheets and psychosocial support activity packs and 4,628,245 textbooks and other instructional materials. The department has been distributing ICT packages to public schools as an effort to continue to integrate technology into teaching and learning and make education delivery more effective. Currently, we are procuring 6,416 e-learning cart packages, 2,985 smart TV package, 60,110 laptops for teachers, and 10,719 laptops 
for non-teaching personnel for fiscal year 2022 and 2023. We significantly improved our education infrastructure as we constructed 187 new classrooms with 711 classrooms still in construction, repaired 2,568 classrooms with 2,907 ongoing repair and rehabilitation, constructed 1,114 school health facilities with 669 ongoing construction and constructed 10 new last mile schools with 72 sites still in construction. For 2023, we target to build 5,133 new classrooms, repair 7,291 classrooms, and construct 88 last mile schools. DepEd believes that providing learners with good nutrition complements our goal of supporting our children's education journey. Through our school-based feeding program, or SBFP, we fed almost 3.5 million learners, consisting of all kindergarten learners plus grades 1 to 6 learners who are severely wasted and wasted, with Nutritious Food Products, or NFP, and provided almost 3.5 million learners with milk. During school year 2022 to 2023, our feeding days of NFP was 30 days and 16 days for milk feeding. For this year, under our fiscal year 2023 targets, we aim to cater 1,678,704 learners from kindergarten to grade 6 who are severely wasted and wasted and serve them nutritional food products or NFP and milk products for 120 feeding days through our SPFP. As we strengthen the public-private complementarity, the department has provided support to our learners through the Government Assistance and Subsidies, or GAS. 923,520 junior high school learners benefited through our Education Service Contracting, or ESC, subsidy, and 1,355,135 learners to the Senior High School Voucher Program, SHSVP, subsidies. For school year 2023 to 2024, to ensure that we can increase access to education and greater choice for our learners and their families for their needs and career goals, the department will sustain our GAS program by providing support to 1,179,000 329 million ESC grantees and 1,132,155 SHSVP grantees. The responsive and inclusive education programs for 2023 are designed to address educational disadvantages, especially in providing relevant education for our Muslim, indigenous people, special education, and alternative education learners. In fiscal year 2022, our education system included and served 170,712 special needs education learners in the public schools, 271,322 learners for Arabic language and Islamic values education in both public and private schools. 136,392 Indigenous Peoples Education Program or IP Ed learners in the public schools, and 640,448 Alternative Learning System or ALS learners. We believe that learners' full potential can be achieved if they are respected and protected. DepEd looks after its learners through the newly established Learner Rights and Protection Office, or LRPO, that safeguards learners from all forms of abuse. One way of safeguarding our learners is through the Learners Telesafe Contact Center helpline, where abuses and conflict pertaining to child protection can be reported. We already hired and filled up 8,897 teaching positions and has an ongoing hiring of 653 teaching personnel. Meanwhile, 9,650 teaching items have been created under the fiscal year 2023 targets. 
and to fulfill our commitment of removing ancillary tasks and reducing the workload to our teachers, we hired 4,864 non-teaching personnel and there is also ongoing hiring of additional 136. For fiscal year 2023, we are also requesting additional 5,000 non-teaching position to DBM. As the department remains steadfast in its commitment to improve teacher quality, we continuously capacitated our teachers by providing them with training and scholarship programs. As of March 2023, DepEd has already capacitated 692,492 teaching and teaching-related personnel. Your Honors, we will now present to you our Fiscal Year 2024 Budget Proposal. Your Honors, presented in the screen is the comparison of our 2024 National Expenditure Program versus 2023 General Appropriations, as well as our 2024 Revised Budget Proposal submitted to the Department of Budget and Management. DepEd's NEP budget level for next year is 758.59 billion pesos, of which 756.84 billion pesos is allocated to DepEd OSEC and 1.74 billion pesos is allocated to attached agencies. The overall budget of the department increased by 5% comparing from the 2023 GAA. However, we would like to emphasize the 2024 NEP level of the DEPED attached agencies. All 2024 NEP level of the six DEPED attached agencies of the department decreased compared to their 2023 GAA level. We would also like to show you that out of 712 billion pesos of the 2024 NEP level budget of DepEd OSEC, 566 billion pesos will be directly released to the field offices, leaving 146 billion pesos of the total budget in the DepEd Central Office. Your Honors, we would also like to highlight this equally important update for our DepEd's attached agencies. For fiscal year 2024, under the National Expenditure Program, all of their budget levels have decreased versus our fiscal year 2023 General Appropriations Act. We are presenting their requests for additional appropriation in the 2024 budget for them to implement more programs, cover more beneficiaries, and contribute meaningfully to the ultimate goal of our basic education sector. With a revised K-10 curriculum ready for phased implementation, we will now look at reviewing the senior high school curriculum. This will then be supplemented by the orientation of the teaching and non-teaching personnel. Likewise, we will sustain efforts to bounce back from the impact of the learning crisis through the continued implementation of the National Learning Recovery Program, or NLRP. The department will also continue existing programs such as the Campus Journalism, Early Language Literacy and Numeracy, or ELLN, and Alternative Delivery Mode, or ADM. In addition, there will be a procurement of 71 million 407,893 textbooks and instructional or learning materials for printing and delivery. 1,162,865 pieces of TVL equipment or tools will also be procured for distribution, costing 1.7 billion pesos. Furthermore, 3,000,000 299,748 pieces of science and math equipment or tools will be procured for distribution. The National Assessment Systems for Basic Education will also procure various test materials to conduct assessments for all levels in the basic education, including the qualifying examination in Arabic language and Islamic studies for aspiring Islamic teacher for Filipino Muslim communities. For fiscal year 2024, the department will further accelerate the delivery of basic education facilities and services. Under the Basic Education Facilities Fund, or BEFF, for classroom construction, we are aiming for a physical target 
of 7,879 next year with 19.7 billion pesos allocation. For the BEFF for repair and rehabilitation, we have a physical target of 10,050 for 2024 with 6 billion pesos allocation. Meanwhile, for the priority school health facilities, our physical target for next year is 333 with NEP of 500 million pesos. And for next year's BEFF for school furniture, we have a physical target of 21,557 with 2.5 billion pesos allocation. DepEd also aims to provide 432 sites with electrification packages. As part of our construction plans for fiscal year 2024, we will be building three medium-rise school buildings in Marikina, Pasig, and Taguig. We will also establish 72 library hubs in selected priority areas to provide learners with access to resource materials. We will also establish 72 library hubs in selected priority areas to provide learners with access to resource materials. Additionally, we will create 16 Inclusive Resource Learning Centers or ILRCs for special needs education with one center per region to offer a one-stop shop for support and related services to learners with special needs. With the NEP of 56 million pesos, we will also establish four Community Learning Centers or ALSCLCs for the alternative learning system, we will also ensure that those in geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, or GIDAs, are provided with school buildings. For the Last Mile Schools program, we are prioritizing 176 areas with the NEP of 3 billion pesos. For 2024, we will prioritize 258 Gabaldon and other heritage school buildings for conservation and restoration with an allocation of 1.1 billion pesos. We will also deliver 1,410 e-learning cart packages, 5,818 smart TV packages, 34,500 laptops for teachers, 4,001 laptops for non-teaching personnel, office productivity tools, and other ICT programs and projects with an 8.9 billion pesos NEP to accelerate the integration of ICT in teaching and learning and institutionalize blended learning. For fiscal year 2024, we will serve 1,031,000 605 learners under the Education Service Contracting, 1,342,420 for Senior High School Voucher Program, and 117,889 for the Joint Delivery Voucher Program for Senior High School. These three programs have the allocation of 12.5 billion pesos 25.3 billion pesos and 1.5 billion pesos respectively. The department's school-based feeding program aims to feed 1,678,704 learners for 220 days next year. For 2024, DepEd also aims to support 303,170 IPED learners for its Indigenous Peoples Education Program, 180,000 Alive Learners for its Madrasa Education Program with NEP of 154 million pesos and 432 million pesos respectively. Meanwhile, DepEd aims to provide services to 200,000 special need education learners with the NEP of 999 million pesos and 667,732 alternative learning system learners with 632 million pesos NEP in the efforts of fostering inclusivity for basic education. As support to our teachers, 
we aim to fill 20,000 new school personal positions with a proposed NEP of 5.7 billion pesos to unburden our teachers with overwhelming administrative tasks that takes up their time instead of using that to prepare for their lessons. DepEd also plans to conduct human resource development for personnel in schools and learning to further capacitate our personnel. This program aims to benefit 142,202 DepEd personnel with a proposed budget of 2.4 billion pesos. We want to assure you and our constituents that DepEd will work together to provide the best education possible for our learners. We understand this is a challenging task, but with your help and support, we are confident we can improve the quality of basic education. Our journey does not conclude here. We look forward to the continued collaboration and momentum 